Hello everyone, I am Dr. Soumya Gupta and I am a final year resident in KMC Mangalore doing MD Pathology. Many of my juniors and friends were asking me that they are thinking of taking pathology as post-graduation branch and they don't have much idea about it. Also as uh, interns we don't have much clarity about the branch since we don't have uh, pathology postings. So I just thought of making this video uh, for all the students who are attending counselling this year so that it will help them to know uh, if they actually would like to take pathology, what is pathology and if they will be fine after taking. So first if we start, pathology has uh, three subdivisions in itself. First is your hematology, then cytology and histopathology. Also it includes transfusion medicine related everything. So in hematology, uh, we get the blood samples and all the body fluids, the cytic fluids, pleural fluids, CSF, uh, then semen analysis is there, bone marrow aspirate, biopsies, all these things, uh, malaria samples, all these things come under hematology and it is like the bread and butter uh, of pathology. The next thing is cytology which is mostly related to uh, malignant and benign uh, distinguishing things. And uh, it is a faster way where you look into the individual cells, you get all sorts of fluids and crushes, brushes and uh, then you do FNACs in cytology and then the next is your histopathology where you get all the biopsies and the excised specimens and uh, you have to give your diagnosis on that. So, uh, the very important thing is that unlike other branches which are uh, limited to certain uh, system or specific things in pathology you have to know everything about everything it uh, requires uh, a lot of effort and meticulous reading there is uh, no escape from reading and tip to toe you have to know about any disease which is which can possibly occur in the body about the future scope there are many options first if you want to uh, study further then there are many fellowships which can be done in india and abroad and uh, then uh, there are DMs also, you can do Oncopath, Clinical Hemat, then system wise also specifications are there. And uh, the next thing is where do you want to practice and how do you want to practice. So you can manage it according to how you want your life to be. If you want it to be a scheduled and routine life, a uh, regulated life, you can decide and go into uh, some inst educational institution where you can practice as well as you have to teach like you can become a professor and lecturer you have to take lectures teach them so that will be one additional thing but your life will be a nine to five kind of a work uh, along with that you have to practice as well the next thing is that you can join any corporate setup or any private lab so for that you can work hourly basis and uh, there are also some small labs which have their machines and they do small tests but they want the signature of pathology so uh, like alongside with your practicing whatever you are doing with that you can join those labs also they will just bring you the reports and you have to sign it. Uh, that is the thing and uh, then next thing is if you want to open your own lab or if you want to take a franchisee of a lab which is already open something like that so if you are deciding on opening your own lab then sky is the limit but the only thing is that alongside being a very good pathologist uh, you have to be good in business also because it is like business uh, along with practice. I think any, uh, even if any clinician, general practitioner opens a clinic, it is like business plus practice. So same thing goes here. And But so much of uh, thinking will go inside because you have to think about all the accreditations, uh, lab certifications and all those things. And uh, just not pathology, you have to also uh, know a little bit about microbiology and biochemistry also because uh, you can keep the machines and you can see the slides and because your lab can't be restricted only to pathology specimens. So if you get all the other specimens, you can uh, deal with that also. About uh, deciding on the college which you want to join, uh, I would like to say whether it is a government or a private one. One thing you should make sure that it is a branch which is involved in too much technology and every day so much update is there and so much advancement is there that basic specimens won't do you any good. So try to take those places where they have super speciality branches and where you have good interventional radiology because all the different varieties and rarity of the specimens you'll get from these two sources. 
So all the deeper biopsies, suppose there is a tumor in pleura, suppose there is some deep uh, tumor in pancreas, all your co colorectal brushes and all. If you have a good radiologist, uh, interventional radiologist and super specialty branches, you will get all sorts of specimens. Because these three years of uh, post-graduation is very important. If you see a variety of specimens, uh, when you go outside, you will be confident in dealing with those cases. Because learning something by reading books and by experience is very different. Even if you do in periphery, you can afterwards join some lab or work under someone where all these IHCs, flow cytometry, then uh, for skin you have uh, immunofluorescence, all these things are there. Uh, you can practice it afterwards, but then again you will have to spend few years in that. Uh, if you have that thing in the post-graduation itself, you will be confident as well as you'll know a lot of things and you will be because post-graduation is the place where you can ask doubts and learn as much as you want so it will be better if you have those things in your pg itself so please make sure uh, try to get into those colleges which have all the advanced facilities because basic specimens anyone can read and you won't be a dynamic good pathologist if you want all those things you have to be advanced and uh, proactive is the key to be a good pathologist always be updated all in all i would like to say that uh, as long as you are ready to accept the subject love the subject it is uh, already very interesting so you will love it and as long as you are fine with accepting it as a paraclinical branch and that you have to leave your stethoscope behind and sit in the microscope for hours then uh, this subject is very great, very good uh, branch and uh, you can manage and decide how you want your life to be. You, either you want it to be a routine, uh, relaxed life or you want to open your own lab, earn as much as you want. So all the possibilities are there and uh, you can divert it as the way you want it. So uh, you should not be scared with the branch, uh, it will uh, do you good. Just you have to be interested and accept it and uh, I hope this video helps you all. Please share it with your friends. Thank you.